Hi and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to capture GPS location for your applications with the help of the GPS location block that is available in Clapier. Let's see how to use this with the help of an example. Over here, I have created an application earlier for site inspection. Now, I would also like to capture the GPS location on submission by a person. So, let's see how to add this option. We click on Design app where we can edit our app. You can also see all the earlier fields. We click on Add field and then click on GPS location. This GPS location block can be configured on the right hand panel that has appeared here. There are two options, Basic and Advanced for configuring. The first thing I will do is to give a label name to the field. Over here, I will mention Site Location. We can also give a description to the field. This is to help a user to know what to input into a field or it could be some helpful information. So over here, I will mention, please enable location on your device. This is actually important because only if the location is enabled on a person's device will they be able to submit the information capturing their exact location. Now we click on save and go to the advanced option. You can see default to current location has been automatically enabled by the system. So let's see how this works in the app. We click on app home and here you can see the location has been captured in the app along with the GPS coordinates. You can also see that the address has been mentioned. We can zoom in or zoom out the map. And if you wish to view a larger map, you can click on that link and it'll redirect you to Google Maps. Now let's go back. You can also see you can get directions to the location. This is especially useful for customer visits or field inspections or other use cases. Now let's go back to the design app for further configurations. Now over here under basics, you can see there is an option that says required. So if a person should not miss out on filling in the field before submission, you can enable this option. Click on save. Going back to the advanced option, right now I will disable this because we have already seen how this works. Now the second option says allow user to manually change location. We can enable this in case a person needs to actually change their location before submission and not just get the default current location. So let's see how this works in the app. Click on save and go back to app home. Now we can see that the map has not loaded in the app. We can also see that the GPS coordinates is no longer available. Now if we fill in all the details in this app but not the site location and just click on submit, you can see an error message has appeared. This is because we had enabled the option required for this particular field as denoted by the star mark over here. Now to get the location, we can simply click on the blue button over here and it will load the map. If you wish to change your location, you can simply click and drag on the map and select your location. You can zoom in for further accuracy. Now let's go back to the design app again. Now over here, there is an option that says enable geofencing. This is especially useful for people who need to submit their location at a distance from the site location. If you wish to know how to configure the geofencing for the GPS location, you can check out our geofencing video. Now there is an option that says display this field if. Over here, you can implement calculations and logic. If you have worked with spreadsheets earlier, you would have come across implementing various types of calculation as well as logic and conditions like if, else, or, etc. The same can be implemented in Clapier. We share a similar library. But in place of cell numbers, we have the concept of variable names which you can find at the top of every field in brackets. These variable names is especially useful for the calculations and logic purpose. Now in this app, over here, I have visit made. Now, if the visit made is selected as yes, only then would you like the location to show up in the app. But if the visit made is selected as no, then you do not want the location to show up. So let's see how to implement this logic. So over here, I type in at the rate visit made equals to yes and click on save. This will implement the logic in the app. So now let's see how the app works. 
Over here, you can see now that the GPS location block has completely disappeared from the app. However, if I select no under visit made, nothing happens. But if I select yes, it appears on the app. So now we can go ahead and fill in all the details in this app. I give a name, the date is selected, visit made. Click on the blue button over here to get the map along with the GPS coordinates. And now I can click on submit. You can view all your submissions under the submissions tab over here. And you can click on a submission to get a right hand panel that captures all the details in this submission. You can see the map has also appeared over here along with the coordinates. On submission, you can also change the location since we had enabled that option in the design app. Now, if you wish to download a particular submission or all the submissions that you might have, you can click on the download option over here and you will be able to download it in an Excel format and view all the details. This particular GPS location block can also be viewed on the mobile apps as well. The mobile app of Clapia can be downloaded via Play Store or App Store and the moment you create your app, it is ready to use. So let's see how it works in the mobile app. Over here, you can see the mobile screen that has the Clapia app already installed on it. So let's go ahead and click the app. And then we click on the site inspection app. Now over here, you can see all the earlier fields that was there in the web version. So the moment you create your app in the web version, it is ready to use in your mobile apps as well. Under visit made, if I select yes, you can see that the GPS location block has appeared. When we select the blue button, you get the coordinates as well as the map with the default location. Now let's go ahead and fill in the details of this app. Give a site name. The date is selected, visit made. The site location has been captured and now we go ahead and click on submit. You can click the view submissions to view all your submissions. We can see also that the earlier submission that we made on the web version is available and the new submission has appeared on the top. To check the details of each of the submission, we can simply click on a submission and then we get all the details captured. So this is how the mobile version works with the GPS location. If you have any questions regarding the configuration of the GPS location block or any other feature in Clapier, you can request support by clicking on the option over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you.